While this is considered a so-called off-year election, there are still many closely contested races around the tri-state area. CBS 2's Dick Brennan is covering campaign 2019 tonight, and he is here with results from some of the major races. Dick. Yeah, Christina Maurice, there was only one major citywide race in New York, and that was the race for public advocate. And we can tell you Democrat Jamani Williams, who's held the job since a special election in February, has been elected to a full term with 100% of the precincts reporting. You can see that he received 76% of the vote, easily defeating Republican City Councilman Joe Borelli. The job is often seen as a launching pad to higher office. Queens will have a new district attorney. Borough President Melinda Katz defeated Republican Joe Murray. As you can see, she won that pretty easily. Katz had won the Democratic primary by a razor-thin margin. Tonight at her headquarters, she addressed supporters. We are facing here an opportunity to make a national model for criminal justice reform. And if we don't do it right here, it's going to have massive effects all throughout this country. I mean, honestly, Jake, it's been right now you're looking at the Jay Nassau Jay district Kennedy attorney who is right apparently declaring victory job, right now. And that's a live uh, picture we're showing you. It's also the headquarters of a Democrat and incumbent Hempstead tonight. Town Supervisor, so Laura Gillen. She's being challenged tonight by Republican Don Clavin. Course, no winner to announce just yet. There are roughly 400 votes that separate them in that race. And in Mount Vernon, Democrat Sean Patterson Howard is poised to become the first African-American woman to be a mayor in the history of Westchester County. She declared victory, and with more than 50 percent of the vote, she's on her way. She's ahead of acting mayor Andre Wallace. There were five ballot proposals for New York City voters. It appears that perhaps the most consequential is one that will change the way people vote, and it has passed. Under the new law, voters can choose up to five candidates ranked in order of preference. In the meantime, all 80 seats were up for grabs. In the New Jersey Assembly, Democrats were looking to hold on and perhaps bolster their majority. Maurice.